everything, um, in and out, because I was, work is, on the one hand, making speeches, and on the other hand, trying to write, you know? And I never was able to write in New York, so I would go out and do my work and come back and do my work, you see what I mean? Yeah. New York, New York. It's been almost a year since I was in Europe and I did my little digital camera vlog series. So in honor of that, this is my New York digital camera vlog. I did those videos in places where I was obviously a tourist, but I also happened to live in a place that <laughs> is also a tourist attraction, so I mean, I still feel like a tourist on a lot of days. I'm definitely 100% a transplant. But, hold on, I need to get my brush. So I'm going into my fourth year of living here. And I don't know if it's my last. But I've kind of been treating it that way. That way, you know... I don't take anything for granted and it helps me like enjoy it a little bit more on the days especially where it's like extra challenging you know i mean every place has its challenges but new york definitely has unique challenges we'll just put it that way i think the way i feel about it is the best part of living in new york is leaving it <laughs> and then the best part about leaving new york is coming back so that's pretty much been my relationship with it for the entire four years that I've lived here. I've also left for quite a large amount of time in between those four years, so it actually hasn't been a total of four years, but that's exactly what I mean when I say that the best part is leaving, and the best part of leaving is coming back. It's like a toxic relationship. I don't really know what's up next this year. I graduate, and that will obviously change things just in general. So, I've also been trying to make sure that I do a lot of my bucket list things. Tonight I'm going to a basketball game. Should be a good time. Doing my makeup in the dark right now, which is a bad idea. <laughs> Cause who knows what this actually looks like. It's good enough.
I literally just shattered my coffee mug and there's coffee all over the floor, all over my pants, glass everywhere. I didn't even get to drink it. I took one sip. Okay, girls, so it's very cold out today. I think it's like not even reaching 25. So that means lots of layers, you know? Um, got my fleece leggings underneath, fur thing. Here's the thing though. The outfit I wanna wear today is like risky in 30 degree weather. As in, it's a sacrifice to be a little colder for the sake of the look. I'm thinking of wearing it today, so I'm trying to think of how many, realistically, how many layers. I've been brewing coffee with my french press, letting it sit, cool down, put it in the fridge, overnight, wake up, boom, I make iced coffee. Unbeknownst to me, I thought I've been making cold brew. I thought that's all cold brew was. Hot coffee, cold, brewed. Apparently it's not at all and cold brew is like this whole process that takes like hours and hours and hours where you brew the coffee for But I'm like every time I make hot coffee cold and then call it cold brew It's the same thing. It tastes the exact same Lots of reflecting to do about that one Obviously I'm on my last mug as we all saw I shattered my one yesterday Ridiculous. I'm honestly scared to even set it down we have a little mission to accomplish today. I told myself I'm not spending a lot of money or any money on clothes till spring, summer comes. Then I can, you know, move some things around. I get to this point in winter where it's a little too late to keep buying new things. I also don't need to spend more money on clothes. I spend too much money on clothes that I decided I want to spend more on experiences and knowledge. Instead of buying a $50 sweater, I could buy two books. You know what I'm saying? I think that's just more my priority right now. However, however, I don't have winter boots. This whole snow situation going on has really emphasized the necessity of a winter boot. So I'm thinking it's still gonna keep snowing again for the rest of the month and next month. I think I just need to bite the bullet and get a pair of boots. I mean, what do I look like living in a place with a heavy winter and no winter boots? Dumb. That's what I look like. Stupid. Cold. Unprepared. I've rationalized the winter boot purchase. That's my mission for today. Online, it says they are not in stock, which is weird. I just, I don't believe the, the website because I'm like, it's the Timberland store. How can you not have classic Timberland? I'm gonna see if it's in fact true and they don't have them, then I'm gonna take it as a sign. Um, speaking of the winter though, I think honestly it should snow all winter. Like if winter is gonna be winter, I think it should snow the entire winter. Some people hate snow and I don't really get that. I think maybe if you've like lived in the north a long time where it snows all the time, then you really have like a deeper experience with it. But I think what's the point of it just being so unbearably cold and just ugly outside? When it snows, everything is beautiful. Life is renewed. You know, you walk outside, People are out playing in the streets like it's spring. But yeah, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a fan of snow. I think if it's winter, it might as well snow. Anyways. Elevators for real-time elevator status.